Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's 2019. That's my first video of 2019. New here, near me. Same cringy YouTube channel. I'm probably the last person to be doing this video, but I thought I would do it anyways because I really wanted to do it, so. This video is a 2018 favorites um, video. Fault of makeup, skincare, beauty, lifestyle, I don't know. Films, movies, all that jazz. If you want to see what I'm loving, what I loved in 2018, um, carry on watching this video. If you're curious, bus, I don't know, just watch the video to see what I like. I don't know, who would want, I don't know. Let's just, let's go on to the video. And as always, if you don't know me by now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Olivia. Hi, how are you doing? <sighs> this is my YouTube channel. I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, all that jazz. I'm a film student. If that says anything, I don't know. Um, but as always, don't forget to give this video a like, a comment down below, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. If you watch YouTube, you know that by now, so just do it, okay? Thanks. Okay, obviously, the main thing on my channel is beauty and makeup so I'm gonna start with makeup first I actually did this makeup look using my favorite products of 2018 so you're gonna see clips of me doing my makeup using the products I'm talking about I thought it was a good idea and then good video concept to do that so I try to flick my hair but my hair is too short <laughs> Okay, so my first makeup favourite of 2018 is primer, obviously. I only have one primer of this year, and this is the Gautreaux Prime and Fine. I literally... I finished this. This... I literally had to scrape the bottle to do my fa faint face. <laughs> I had to scrape the bottle to do my face th today, but I can't speak. That is empty. So, this wouldn't be empty if I hated it, so take my word for it. Um, it's a lovely primer. It's moisturising. But it also, as it says, smooths and refines. Because I'm 19 and I'm getting wrinkles. <laughs> okay, next is foundation. My favorite foundation of 2018 was, drumroll please. It was the Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless in 110. As you see, I have two here. This one is out. I don't know why I still have this one. This one like ran out like four months ago. This foundation, actually, fun fact, I have a review on it and I hated it when I first reviewed it. But now I have a stud, I use it with a sponge, I put that primer on underneath and I don't cake it with powder, I just do a light powdering and then under my eyes I like set it and where I crease I set it. So I now know how to work with it. Um, it is a bit too matte for me. But that's where Fix Plus comes in and just saves my day. So I do really love this foundation. It's a go-to foundation for me. It's cheap. It's from Maybelline. has still the price on it. It's 100 grand. Bloody love it. We'll continue using this in 2019. Um, yeah, it's probably my day-to-day -day foundation. My favorite concealer is obviously the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in C4. It's a bit dark for me. But I've run out of it. As you can see in this video, I literally was scraping the barrel. Um, I really need to get a new one of this, but I really love this in 2018 as of everyone because it's a shape tape dupe and I can't afford shape tape, but I can afford this 100 grand concealer. Love it. Um, yeah, and as you guys probably know by now, um, Makeup Revolution came to South Africa this year, which is amazing. So I'm able to get this really, really easily and accessible and it's cheap love it what do i do next oh powder you are the absolute translucent i think i've used this like since i started my youtube channel if that doesn't say how much i love it then i don't know what does um i started my youtube channel when i was 16 and i'm now 19 20 20 in march this powder lasts forever it's translucent so it doesn't translucent translucent so it doesn't make you orange it just sets everything in place um i love it next favorite is my bronzer and contour favorite and they're all in one in this nyx contour palette i bloody love this contour palette as you can see it's very very loved this is what i use for bronzer as you can see i'm putting it on now um including clips of me um applying it now um i just really love this palette it's not that cheap um it's about like 300 rand 
but you're getting how many shades you're getting eight shades and the, the one thing i absolutely love about this palette is so when i finally reach pan on this banana sh shade or my contour shade i just can take that pan out and replace it i don't have to buy a whole new palette i don't have to buy a whole new palette i just take the shade out and replace the shade and the highlights in here the ones on each end aren't that bad either i don't really reach for them that much but if i'm traveling or if i just want to take one thing to do my highlight contour and bronzer i do use these they're just not my favorite in the whole world okay cool love you speaking about highlighting um, I honestly had to rethink about my highlight choice of the year of 2018 and I narrowed it down to two. The first one is this Revolution Shimmer Brick in Rose Gold. I'm not gonna lie, I mainly use this in the summer months because it's a bronzer blush kind of highlighting hump trio. No, one, two, three, four, five. Five oh. <laughs> I just love you swirl your brush around, put it on, and you look like a glowing goddess. So that's why I love that. But I mainly use it Jan to April, and then I kind of got it out again October to December of 2018. And then kind of throughout the whole year, um, I used, again, it's a, it's a cold classic. It's a cold beauty product that everyone had or still has or had in their makeup collection it's the balm mary luminizer i've hit pan it's very sad and as you have noticed i left out blush which i don't know how i feel about that i think 2019 is a year i need to appreciate blush more because i have a lot of blushes in my collections from different brands i have bobby brown i have catrice i have essence i have avon I just need to use them more. I feel like I'm not that much of a blush person, so I did not include a blush in this um, 2018 favorites because none. I didn't like blush in 2018. <laughs> yeah, so that's blush is non-existent. Okay, next product is a brows. Now I think this was part of my 20 2017 favorites as well. Um, the NYX Tame and Frame. I haven't experimented with my brow products this year, so it's still kind of the same. It's a pomade in chocolate. I like darker brows. I feel like it's the right undertone for me. So, really been loving this. On to palettes. I thought long and hard for this, but then I realized why am I thinking, overthinking. I've loved this palette for the whole year. I got it this year. I haven't put it down. Makeup Revolution Orange Chocolate Palette. It's just so easy to use. Amazing colors. Really cheap. I think it was 120. I just absolutely love this palette so much. I love mainly all of the chocolate palettes that I've ever used. I have about like three now. Um, and I love all of them. So, But this is the main, the go-to, the holy grail. Oh, I love it. Makeup Revolution. Please hire me to do something. Please just, I would love to work for Makeup Revolution. I'll be your, your, I don't know actually. <laughs> if you need an editor or a producer of your, your beauty film, your beauty films, your beauty videos, please just hire me. Thank you. Love you. Cool. 2018 was a year I struggled with eyeliner. Just ask anyone I go to college with of how irritated I got when my eyeliner <laughs> cried off because I was laughing too much. Um, or just it was bright outside and my eyes started watering. My eyes water quite a lot. So I need something that stays on and um, I struggled. <laughs> but I've come up with two kind of products that work for me. Okay, okay, let me tell you. This was my go-to before college. This is the L'Oreal Super Line in Perfect Slim. I love this for getting that perfect wing eyeliner that's just, it's perfect for doing the shape, but it cries off. Then my mom bought me this one day and it's the Maybelline Master Ink. I don't know why I said master. Master Ink. <laughs> it's Master Ink. Um, in satin, luminous black. Now this stayed on. This you can cry and it will stay on. But I absolutely hate the applicator. I use this to get the perfect shape of my wing and then I fill it in with this bad boy right over here. 
it's been working. It's been a power duo. But one little side note about this is because it's so dry and it stays on, it sometimes, sometimes can be a little crumbly so it can like flake off. But I'd rather it flake off than like leave like horrible tears black like black tear stains because <laughs> this is what the L'Oreal one did if I just use the L'Oreal one so these two together are a a good combo I wouldn't say they're the best combo because for sure there's somewhere out there that's a mixture of these two that I need to find in 2019 if anything looks different um, I just took a quick coffee break <laughs> I can't remember where I was. Mascara? They're real? If I've talked about it, it's good. I like it. Okay, cool. Next product. <laughs> a lipstick or lipsticks that have stood out for me this year, 2018, is Makeup Revolution lipsticks. I bloody love them. I have about like five of them in my collection. I know that's not a lot, but I cherish the five very deeply. Um, I mostly like four of them, I think, on nude. I only have two here. I have the greatest lipstick and I have inspiration so I have these two they're in rose gold packaging I love the packaging they're really nice nudes um they're not long lasting as you can see they've really rubbed off because I've drank coffee let's just put some more of that on <laughs> and I also like the retro matte um lip kits that Makeup Revolution has some of them are a bit hit and miss but um some of them are really really nice and if you know how to work with them then they are really nice long lasting not sticky so um, Makeup Revolution has my 2018 favorites for lipstick bloody love it and as before as I said Makeup Revolution is in South Africa now in click stores so I can get my favorite lipsticks just by popping to a clicks yes. I think that is all the makeup Okay, now I'm just looking at my diaries to see what else I have to mention because I wrote it all down because I knew I would forget. Um, oh, okay. My favorite perfume of 2018 was a perfume I discovered in 2018 by just randomly picking it up one day because it was by like a counter and smelling it and I fell in love with it. It is the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Perfume. Okay, so I found a website that um, shows me what scents it has. I'll include a photo of the full um, bottle here as this is not the actual bottle. This is just like a 15ml bottle. Um, so I'll include it like right over here. Tops notes of lemon and orange peel give green tea by Elizabeth Harden. I can't say that. Um, a citrus scent that is perfect for warm breezy evenings Ooh. the tart note of rhubarb enters the scent for a sweet undertone while the heart of this fragrance contains jasmine carnation and oak moss to add touchness of freshness it's just i love a fresh scent that just before you go out you just spray it and you're like yes i'm so fresh i'm so clean um yeah so i'll definitely be begging my mom to buy me more of this this year <laughs> um yeah, this is like an empties video because half the products I'm mentioning are empties. <clears throat> okay, now just to wrap up beauty products in general. My favorite shampoo and conditioner of 2018 was the Garnier Ultimate Blends. The Sleek Restorer Shampoo and Conditioner. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. I used it throughout 2018. Um, I didn't use the Sleek Restorer throughout 2018, but I did use the Garnier Ultimate Blends range. So they have coconut one, which is this one. They have a cranberry one. They have a honey one, but I mostly loved the Sleek Restorer one. It has coconut oil and coconut butter. It smooths and nourishes dry, frizzy hair. No parabens. That is all my beauty favorites of 2018. I felt like that took forever. I probably should edit this way down. It's gonna take me so long to edit this video. I'm just gonna speed through this because we all know, all love, probably seen this already a hundred times. Okay, music favorites of 2018. I did not know how to choose, but I just went on to Spotify and uh, Spotify told me, Love Me by the 1975 uh, Sugar Coat by Jules Ezra and Beautiful by what's his name again? <laughs> Bazzy? Is that his name? I don't, see, I don't even know his name but I played his song like 500 times. 
in 2018. So those were my favourite or top songs of 2018. I don't know what that says about me, but um, I love those songs. <laughs> I don't even wanna go out tonight, no, I want you by my side, by my side. <laughs> if that's what you wanna do, oh, hey baby, beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Oh, I am a fish. I don't know words. <laughs> okay, films and TV series. This is this is a hard one. This is a hard category. Oh no, I study film. I watched so many films this year. I watched films in my free time, but then also at college I watched films, so I watched a lot of films. Um, but let's just go straight in with the films. I'm gonna say Infinity War. I bloody love that movie. I watched it yesterday, but I loved it. I love Marvel. I love Marvel. Okay, I love all the whole universe that it came together. I just, it's a good universe. I like it, okay? I watched too many films or slash movies in 2018 to have a favourite. But Infinity War was definitely an a, 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 a iconic part of movies in 2018. Other films that I watched in 2018 that kind of stuck out, stuck out, stuck out, that's not a word, stood out for me. The Star is Born. I loved that movie so much. I loved the soundtrack. Um, I loved the storyline. I love how they the re the re I love how they changed it to adapt to 2018 and like the modern age. Because um, you guys don't know, there are like three previous Star Wars born movies from like the 1920s or something like that, and 1950s. Um, and I really did like the soundtrack I'm still listening to the soundtrack now so I did really like Star Wars Born other movies just off of my head Black Panther iconic and um, that kind of goes with Infinity War though like Marvel um what other films did I watch this year I watched too many too many too too many to pick. I'm probably going to kick myself while editing this and list like 500 movies that I loved this year on screen right now, but um, yeah. <laughs> series. Again, I watched so many series this year. <laughs> but the two that stand out for me mostly is 911. Um, I think it's a new series that actually started this year. Did it start this year? I mean last year, 2018. It's something different to like the original classic Chicago Fire or like Fire series. So I really liked 911, and then the second one, not the second one. I think I liked it more, liked it more than 911 was The Haunting of Hill House. And Haunting of Hill House was a series that got so overhyped that I actually didn't watch it for like two months because I got so many YouTube ads telling me to watch it, and I was like, I will not watch it. <laughs> and it was one of those series that I was up to like four o'clock in the morning watching, just trying to finish. Um, and I haven't watched one of those in quite a lot long time that like made me stay up till four o'clock in the morning wanting to just watch the last episodes to see what happens so I really did like it from a, a film student side camera work absolutely amazing I'm not even a camera work student I'm editing and producing more but I think it's in like episode six or seven that one take wow um and from an editing wise it's just it was just amazing I really really loved it and story wise it was told in a way that didn't bore me it was very innovative um, but also it had some of the classic horror aspects in it as well which you always want to see okay 2018 favorite youtubers youtube channel let's go just gonna list them all Shanixo, Imagination Cara and Nate, Shane Dawson and Jack Jacksepticeye. I really hope you guys liked this video. Let me know in the comments below what are your 2019 goals slash New Year's resolutions. I like 2019 goals more than resolutions because resolutions has a very big stigma around only lasting for two weeks and then just falling off the bandwagon again. So a goal is something you work for. So what are your 2019 goals? I'm going to tell you my goals. I just have three. Eat a little bit healthier. Okay, just a little bit. And if that means I don't eat a chocolate bar one day, that means I'm fine. That's a little bit healthier. <laughs> Secondly, be happy, don't overthink things. And thirdly, 
do what makes me happy. Those are my three goals for 2019. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to give this video a like, a comment down below. As I said, your goals for 2019. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. You guys will know what to do. You watch YouTube for way too long. You know what to do by now. <laughs> so please do it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to have a incredible week, night, day, month, year, wherever you are. And I'll see you next week with another video. I don't know which video that's going to be, but we'll see. 2019 holds so much more. I don't know. <laughs> Bye guys.